the ideas of Thomas Hobbes became a central feature of the eventual separation of the state from civil society. Hobbes was known for reading into society a state of nature. His view was that effectively everyone was in a constant state of war, always seeking to exert power and control over one another. Men, he argued, were in a state of unbridled passions and desires. They were unconstrained by law and the enforcement of contracts. This desire created a tendency of conflict of each man with every other. Society was therefore, in Hobbes' eyes, based on competition. This resulted in a possessive market and this meant that everyone existed in a constant state of insecurity. This in turn created the need for a sovereign overarching power. These ideas were later to become important because they were challenged by Locke, the Scottish economists, Marx, Weber, Parsons and others. Hobbes' account, however, lacks any sense of group cohesion or any idea of social class. The arguments of Hobbes and others such as Locke justified market society and the eventual emergence of what was to become called the bourgeois sphere. Both Hobbes and Locke were called natural rights theorists because they transferred their ideas about the natural state of humankind into the state of society. This means that because we will naturally fight with each other, that we need the sovereign state in order to control us. Why is this important? Reading single ideas into the whole of society happens frequently. The fact that Hobbes experienced society in a particular way and then read into society his perspective is a common problem when it comes to thinking about society.